Gracias. A local recommended I check out Fungi Academy, a center for mushroom ceremonies on Lake Atitlan, close to San Marcos, La Laguna. Since April, well, it was coming back to structure. It was challenging myself to, yeah, I, I let go of a lot of things and getting a lot of external, like, wow, how could you do that? Or, you're insane, you know? Like, how could you just drop everything? And, um, I, I've more recently seen that that's kind of been my life for the last 20 years. But now it's being more conscious and aware of it. And um, the challenge is to be in my greatness. Um, I did a, I led an online coaching program for three months when I was living in Tulum before coming to Guatemala here. And our, our greatest fear isn't that we're inadequate, that we're not beautiful, and, 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 and that we uh, have limiting beliefs. It's that we're truly great. We are intelligent, we are in greatness, and, and it's to keep showing up with, with that and have the courage to keep going, even though those around you, <clears throat> including and especially your parents, aren't gonna understand. You just keep going anyway, you know? Break those chains. Uh, was part of the ashram. The ashram uh, had for vipassanas. So this eight years ago was used for you'd go in there and complete darkness with a toilet and stay for 10 to 21 days. But it hasn't been used for so many years. There's black mold, which is funny because it's a fungi academy. We still for the first month of the treaty was to still get come back to the human. You know, we chose human. You know, like it's uh, still gotta wake up. Still gotta meditate. Still gotta jump in the river if that's part of it. Maybe do some yoga, you know? Do some journaling, whatever it looks like. My journey has taken me to a place where the simple is what's profound and actually shifting something as long as we can do it consistently. And treat ourselves more and more loving and kind so that when we don't do the thing, like we sign up for that gym membership in January and then we don't go past February, we can treat ourselves with love, compassion, and kindness so that we can see what it is that we're avoiding. And uh, this is another example. Like I used to have a company called Vitality Coaching where I support people with connecting with what if it's simple and we could understand what we're doing habitually and what it's satisfying. And understanding that doing a simple thing like jumping in the water here, if it's complicated, you're probably in your head. That's okay. But we learn as we take on these rituals like yoga, practicing, uh, uh, doing a chant with a mala, whatever it is that we're doing, but we do it more and more, it becomes more of who we are and we can let go of trying to force yourself with willpower to do something and just jump in the river. You know, that, it, it is that simple and that's the secret. It's simple. I feel, I feel like I took an hour long full shower in one second. Not that bad. Dad left when I was two, so it was me and a single mom. And uh, I've learned through all these journeys and with plant medicine, with uh, going through extensive coaching programs through the Tony Robbins Platinum World, through um, accomplishment coaching for just under two years of coaching. Um, and coach training and ontological coaching and then just thinking and knowing that there is more you know like why is it that we're being trained to stop it when it gets too emotional you got to refer that to a therapist and there's something inside me um, at that point in my journey I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't believe in spirituality I thought it was bullshit I thought energy work like yeah Reiki sure um, until I experienced it and that led to getting on a one-way ticket from Victoria and the hardest thing was leaving my daughter I have a nine-year-old daughter and physically leaving her because my core wound, you know, abandonment. Uh, my father left us when we were two. Matios, namaste, whatever it is and wherever you're in the world, it's all just like a, a moment to be in gratitude. So I'm grateful for 
having this opportunity to speak wherever I am in my journey. Whatever it is, it's like leave with a feeling and do something a little bit different and you're gonna get a different outcome.